Welcome to Nova Point of Sale, Retail Sales Made Simple. In this video, I'll show you how to negotiate with customers to sell products without a fixed price. When you click on a product without a fixed price, you will see this screen. In the Price Per Item field, you will see the recommended markup price, the price your store owner wants to get for this product. However, that price is not fixed. You can negotiate with the customer, make a deal, and enter a lower price instead. Notice the barcode at the top. The code starts with the product number, in this case, ID-2, and a period. Everything after that is the minimum price for this product, the lowest price your store owner is willing to accept. In this case, that's $249. We hide this minimum price in the barcode so that you'll know what it is, but the customer won't, even if they can see your screen. The goal, of course, is to find a price the customer will accept as close to the recommended price as possible, but no lower than the minimum price. Once you reach an agreement, just enter the price and click Add. The product appears in the customer's shopping cart on the right along with the quantity you're selling, the recommended price, the discount, and the final price. Now we can add any additional products and complete the sale, just like with a fixed price product. I'll click Complete Sale, choose the payment method, enter the details, and click OK. I made the sale myself, so I get the whole commission. I'll print a receipt, search for the customer, and update their record in the customer database. Please see our tutorial on fixed price sales for complete instructions. Nova Point of Sale also includes some special money-making tools that you can use with non-fixed pricing. For instance, the minimum price for this wallet is $200. If I sell it for $280, that's $80 more than the minimum. That $80 is spare money. When I click Add, it appears in the spare bank at the top left of the shopping cart, the total spare money from all of the products in this order. You can use this spare money to sweeten the deal, help the customer say yes, and keep them coming back to buy even more. Let's say the customer loves this wallet. We've offered to sell it to them for $280, and they're almost convinced, but they're still not quite sure. We can offer to give them a $10 gift card for free. I'll just click on Gift Cards at the bottom and choose Sell a New Gift Card. The gift card's value is $10, and the price is zero. It's not going to cost the customer anything. And I'll click Add. Notice that my spare bank has gone down from $80 to $70. I used some of our spare money to pay for the gift card. You don't have to offer a gift card, of course. We could just take another $10 off the price and sell the customer the wallet for $270. That's still well above the $200 minimum price. The customer would feel like they got a great deal, and they might even tell their friends about our store. The difference is, the gift card can only be used at our store. They still get a great deal, they'll still tell their friends, but now they're also going to come back and buy something else so that they can use their gift card. We haven't just made one sale, we've created a new repeat customer. Let's look at one more example. The minimum price for this smartphone case is $20. What if I agree to sell it for $15? When I add this sale to the shopping cart, the spare bank is negative and it turns red. If I try to complete the sale, I get an error message. Nova won't let me sell this product for less than the minimum price. Typically, at this point, you'll click Cancel. Then you can click on the product and renegotiate the price. Or you can sell the customer an additional product instead. Once the total spare bank is positive, you can complete the sale, even though you're charging less than the store owner would like for one of the products. But what if this is a special case? 
What if this is a loyal customer who spent thousands of dollars in our store? What if we want to give them a special discount just for today? In that case, you have three options. You can click Manager Approval and have your manager log in on your screen and approve the sale. Or if your manager isn't in the store, you can click Send Approval Request instead. Your manager will receive a text message, an email message, or both. If they approve the sale, they'll send you a four-digit code. Enter that code and click Verify to approve the sale. Please note, the four-digit code is only for this particular sale. It will not work on any other transaction. In some stores, you can also click Attach Invoice. You'll see a list of all of the sales you've completed today. Choose a sale and click Attach to use the spare bank from that sale to make up the difference on this one. And now you can complete your sale. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit www.novapointofsale.com.